Jeff explains. Here we are backstage at the Green Country Jam 97, and we're talking to Nicholas Peoples right, about his girlfriend. Nicholas could talk about anything these days, and that would be all right with his dad, Ricky. The nine-year-old has already fought and won one of the toughest battles a child could ever face. He was diagnosed, diagnosed with leukemia, uh, and that is cancer of the blood, and we had to take him to St. Jude did that back in 1991, and he was there for about six months. He went through six cycles of chemotherapy treatment. They put us up in a hotel. They gave us meal tickets. Uh, just treated us wonderful. It was the best place we'd ever been to. Heath and I both went down there and visited Nicholas in the hospital and went through and saw, you know, what they do and the kind of changes they make in people's lives. And um, we, you know, decided then if we ever got to the spot where we could lend our name to, to help it out, then we, we would do that. And that's what this state's all about. The guys kept their word, putting on the first benefit last year and personally taking the check to Memphis. You always leave me wanting more. This year, Ricochet enlisted a crew of their Nashville friends, from Skip Ewing and Billy Yates to duo Crawford and West and Daryl Dodd to help out in buy -in. And my mama is... Hey, wait a minute, mom, mom, wait a <laughs> She's trying to get away. Even Heath Wright's mom lent a hand in the kitchen, feeding the performers and volunteers. Got my mom cooking. Now, mom, a lot of people want to know, did you get a free ticket for today's show? I did not. Nope. I even I did my parents not. buy tickets for the show because it's for a good cause, y'all. For a wonderful cause. How fast can a dream come true? All I know is want to look at you and I fell in the blade. The band's willingness to lend its time helps Nicholas's family remember that in the blink of an eye, everything can change. And it means a lot when your friends are there to pick you up. Brought us a whole lot closer together. Made us realize that to, not, not to put off things, you know, yeah, we'll do this with the kids, you know, tomorrow. Well, we, we realize we can't do that. You know, we've got to do that on a day-by-day -day thing. Greg and Heath aren't the only ones who've seen the effects of cancer firsthand. Jeff and Junior Bryant told us their nephew Tyler was diagnosed with leukemia five years ago, and now their dad is battling cancer. There is a bit of good news, though. Ricochet helped raise over 9000 What do the guys do to ease their troubled minds? Lisa Young tracked down Ricochet and found them enjoying a rare day off. Baby. secret that bands like Ricochet are on the road constantly, bringing their music to the fans. But if you ask any musician, they'll tell you that having time off to ease their troubled minds is a much-needed thing. Downtime is important. It gives you a chance to go out and recharge your batteries, kind of uh, sit, sit down and be creative again, because you're so busy on the road making music for the fans and, and meeting them and going to the radio stations uh, that you don't really have time to do what you got in this business to do, and that's write songs and, and, and be creative. So how do these guys recharge when they aren't on stage? Their pastimes are as varied as their personalities. Fiddle player Junior Bryant is a Roy Rogers fanatic. Singer Heath Wright is an Oklahoma boy, so we weren't surprised to find the two of them riding away the afternoon. You're not putting me down in that mud. I know you want to. I tell you what, it's it's great to get out here and ride this horse. Just kind of get you get your mind off everything except for playing. You just get to get out here and kind of kick loose a little bit. Keyboardist Eddie Kilgallen and bassist Greg Cook take a more cerebral approach to kicking loose. It's just a... Welcome to Bill. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Drummer Jeff Bryant and steel player Teddy Carr walk right into the gym with trainer Bill Crutchfield, the guy in charge of whipping the band into shape. So Christmas kind of, you know, Christmas kind of got them, but they're getting back into the groove. Yeah, they uh, they gripe a little bit, but uh, they're glad to do it once it's over with. You're done. You got me. Well, the guys can kiss their free time goodbye for a while. For the next few months, they'll be in the studio working on their. Oh. Yeah, man. I see Ashley's hair. 